So we're in Brundle today. It's a little grey and gloomy. The last knock-ins before the Christmas break and we're going to take a look at this very nice Broom 425. Here in the water on the sales area in Brundle, it's a 2011 build, first commissioned 2012. And we've got the larger twin Volvo D6 370 horsepower diesels in here through shafts, 370s, so plenty of performance. Um, yeah, real nice top end on this, cruising around. I mean, I should think probably pushing certainly late 20s quite comfortably. Very desirable engine configuration, absolutely perfect for those looking to do the extended offshore cruising, extended offshore boating. It will certainly have the performance for that. 2011 build, commissioned 2010, so getting towards the end of the um, the broom era. They really are stunning boats, these. We'll take a little look around the exterior. You can see these lovely teak laid steps up the aft end, fully enclosed stainless steel guard rails with the little gate feature there as well. Grab rails all round, fantastic access. Up the aft end, nice wide gunnels with that slope. They're quite low gunnels as well. So again, you can see very easy to get on and off midship. The bonded windows really set it off. Electric windlass on the front, barrel roller with the anchor, integrated fender baskets here. In good order on the exterior, the canopy's all Good, uh, could do with a, a little machine polish maybe, just to get that shine, really looking 100%, but I think you've got that, if you machine polished it up, it would look as good as new again on the exterior. Blue Moon, kept here in Brundle in the current ownership. Good spec on here, we've got generator, we've got the hydraulic radar arch as well, so, really increasing the uh, the inland access. As we were saying, a real long distance cruiser potentially this, with the, the performance, the space, the flexible air draft. I mean, for, for those looking to, to, to potentially cruise mainland Europe, this is the, the one to go for really. We'll head on in and take a look around the interior. So we move on through the side gates into the cockpit. Real good size cockpit on here. Very, very sociable. You really notice the difference as you step up onto the 425 from the 395 and the 370s. It's, it's, it's cavernous on here. Very nice cream. It's like sort of leather effect. Upholstery there, we've got the teak laid floor. We've had some miserable damp weather, so a little bit damp on the teak there, but real nice effect, sets it off nicely. Again, a big bench seat facing aft, and then this swooping U-shaped sofa at the aft end, so I'm in comfortable seating for, for a number of people on here. Definitely a very sociable boat. We've got that hydraulic arch that we've already mentioned, lowering, reducing the air draft, and then just up on the dash, Striking modern feel to it. Got the bow thruster on here. What you mentioned the twin Volvos, ECU throttles. Very easy to, to handle and maneuver. The bow thruster certainly helps. Nice modern feel to this, really. Sets it off. There's the access down to the main accommodation. We've got this again repeat of the uh the three seater bench facing forward have a little look up top you can see the canopies all in very very good order sides roll up come out leave a little bit of bimini top on there another gate on the port side so access both sides We'll move on down below and uh, take a look around the uh, living quarters. So four steps take us down into the saloon. We've got the extended saloon set up here. 
Um, so we, we, we do away with the dinette and we get this nice sociable seating on the port side. It really does extend it out. I mean, it feels huge, this saloon area. Again, I mean, if you was ever entertaining on here, had people aboard, you would, you would not be short for space. I mean, plenty of room. We can see the two single seats, plenty of stowage on the side there, sort of, sort of side dresser, a nice light oak effect wood really sets it off. Again, as we're saying with the dash upstairs, vintage of room, we're going quite a bit newer and you really do get that modern feel. The cream leather sets it off nicely. We move around, take a look around. TV on the wall, flat screen TV. Storage down the port side. Just come back towards the door and sweep round. See the ocean air blinds up there and blinds all round. Port, starboard and forward windows. Then we move over to the galley. Yeah, I really do like this layout. It gives this sort of mezzanine effect where you're up in the saloon looking over the uh, the galley there. Teak and holly floor, oven, grill, hob. Real nice, is it Avonite worktops, the dark worktops really set it off. I do, I do like that. And the built-in sharp microwave. Large Waco refrigerator, it's already mentioned the generator controls up there. And then we've got bulb counter, storage, plenty of storage here, cupboard, lockers. And then we move forward into the forward cabin. Um, good berth in here, we've got these sort of scissor effect berth. So uh, I believe it actually pushes out to make a V berth and as it stands, as you can see, the sort of island double effect. So best of both worlds, really. Nice touch. So we move on in there again. Plenty of storage. And then we've got the ensuite loo here, WC. New shower screen there as well. Really finished nicely. You can see this lovely, I'd say worktop, but <laughs> heads worktop there. Surround to the basin, mix the tap. Real comfort, plenty of real luxury feel actually. I think you'd be quite happy on here for extended periods. And we can just get a bit of a wider angle of the saloon there as well. Radio has come on, I'll put the ice closed on. I think we've got the, uh, the Star Wars theme playing. <laughs> Not very festive. As we move down now to the aft cabin, so the usual with the brooms, the piece of the resistance as they were. And as we, as we come to expect from them, a very, very nice aft cabin. The two fire escapes at the back has let plenty of light in, real open feel. Really light this boat. It's it's lovely. We've got the light carpets, all the light linings, the light woodwork. It it really opens it up for a boat that is. I mean, obviously it is a big boat, but having that just just opens it up even more. Hanging lockers, plenty of stoves, dressing table, small flat seating TV up on the uh, on the wall there. Separate. Shower compartment, so shower is on the port side there. And then, got the heads, electric flush shaft go WC there, and diverter valve. Separate shower, separate toilet in the aft cabin. Real master suite this. Very comfortable, great size berth. You can get all the way around it, nice island double. And then we also have a washing machine in here, Bosch washing machine. Nice touch. Again, adding to, as we've already said, extended boating, extended cruising, any mainland work, heading out for, for weeks and months. Perfect for that. 
performance space and and the spec generator washing machine very self-efficient And there it is, that's the Broom 425 on display here at Brundle. Link photographs in the, um, in the specification below. Any questions, queries, if you'd like to take a look aboard, please do give the guys a shout.